In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom chat format to make it look like this, for example. I will teach you how you can change the appearance of the name, what comes after the name, and the message itself. And as a little extra, I'm going to show you how you can create a button like this. It only shows to certain staff members. And when you click on it, you can, for example, kick the player that sent the message. And to do this, we're going to use the async chat event. So let's first register the event with get server, get plugin manager, register events, this and this. I'm going to do all this in just one class. You can, of course, create the listener in another class if you want. Implements listener. Make sure you use the org.bucket one. And now let's create the event handler. Public void on chat. And the event we're going to use is called async chat event. The async chat event is only available in paper, so make sure you use paper instead of spigot. In older versions, you would have used event.setFormat to create a new chat format. But in the async chat event, you use event.renderer. And in here you supply a chat renderer. You can press control.space to see what's available. In our case, we use the first option to create the chat renderer with lambda notation. The first parameter is the player that sent the message. The second parameter is the name of the player that sent the message. The third one is the actual message. And viewer is the player that's currently viewing the message. So this will run for every player that can read the message. And this allows to make the message appear differently based on the player that's currently looking at it. And as you can see, the viewer is of type audience and not of type player. So first we need to cast the audience to a player and do that with if not viewer instance of final player. And let's call the player recipient, for example. And then we're going just going to return the unformatted message. Now for the next thing, we're going to create a component and this will be the formatted message. Only the message, only this part. And import it from the adventure library, make sure that you do not select java.awt. And how this works is we're going to build the message from left to right. So let's first start with the player name. We can get the player name from the source display name. So source display name. And to that we're going to append the arrow that you can see here. You can copy the arrow from my Discord if you don't have it. So component.text and space arrow and space and to that we're going to append the actual message which is saved in the messages variable so append message and as the last step we're going to change the color with color named text color dot gray for example the last thing we need to do is to return the formatted message and this is already it. And now I'm going to show you how you can create that moderation button that I showed you earlier. First, we need to check if the recipient, so the player that is reading the message, has the permission um, chat.moderate, for example. And if that is the case, we want to create a new component, which will be the button, the clickable button. I'm going to call it kick component. And it is equal to component.text. First, the opening bracket. Then we append the X that was inside of it. Now on the component that creates the X, so in between those two brackets, we call the click event method. And in here we're going to define what should happen when a player clicks on it. So click event dot click event and the action will be run command. And the command that should be run is kick and then source dot get name. Then go to the end of the line, click enter and append the closing bracket with dot append component dot text and inside here the closing bracket now if you want you can also change the color of the button with color named text color red for example and you can also create the hover event that shows text when you hover over the button with a mouse so go here press enter hover event hover event dot show text and the text should be component dot text kick source get name for example in let's say named text color white and now inside here make sure to return the kick component append a space with component dot space and to that append the formatted message and now you can see when you type something to the chat we have the correct um, format that we set with a button and when you hover over it you get the text and when you click the player gets kicked 